oh, it's just like this collection of pus <laughs> in, the, in the skin. Okay, yeah, he's like, no, I can't handle that. Um, so, I, they constantly people came in with abscesses in the university. I don't know what it was, but you had to like cut, the, cut it open and drain all the pus out. So normally, if it's like right here on your leg, you know, that's no big deal, but sometimes they're in body areas that just make it extra, oh gosh. Um, so, and they're usually kind of small, but one night we had this lady, and it was in an area that wasn't very fun to get to, and she had an abscess, I promise you not, it, it drained probably a liter of pus. And it smelled so bad. Like I would go in and, and I was the main one doing it. So I'd go in and it start draining and I'd have to like, and I couldn't let her see me, my face because I didn't want to embarrass her. So I literally, without vomiting, I had to leave the room and collect myself and come back in and do a little bit more. It was so, so bad. Okay, one more. This one's really gross. I was, I was in the emergency room and uh, this really old man, he was homeless. He came in and he was complaining of ear pain. My, it was when I was in school, so I was trained. I had no idea what I was doing. So I take the otoscope and I'm looking in his ear and I'm like, what is that? There's like these black wires everywhere. Like, is that a hearing aid or something that like got lodged in there? So I look again and I look again and I call in the attending that was like helping me and teaching me. And I said, okay, there's, he's got black wires in his ear. And so he takes the otoscope, he looks at me, he looks at me, he's like, that's a cockroach. Oh! 